As a project evolves, it will no doubt require some changes. Fortunately, when issues arise, BIM 360 Docs makes it easy to assign them to members of the project team. It will also help you track each issue through completion. In this session, we'll learn how to create and manage issues. As you can see, I've got BIM 360 Docs open, and I'm in a project called Kensington Square. Let's assume that I'm doing a plan review on these sheets. I could do that by selecting a sheet. In this case, we'll select the Storm Lines A and B sheet. I can then roll the mouse wheel forward and back to zoom in and out. I can hold the wheel down to pan. I'm going to focus on this profile in the lower left corner. As I look at this profile, I can see that the proposed storm sewer is at a 7% slope. Now, let's say that I've determined that at that slope, I can carry the necessary volume of storm water using a smaller diameter pipe. We'll say 12 inches. Currently, Jerry Bartles is working on the pipe networks for this project, so I'd like to ask him to make a change. I'll do that by creating an issue. On the left side of the screen, I'll click to open the Issues pane. Here we can see a list of all of the issues that are associated with this sheet. At this point, we don't have any. To create an issue, I'll click the Create Issue button. Now, issues are represented using a push pin, so I will click on the area of the sheet where I'd like to place the pin. I can then fill out the new issue form. I'm going to call this issue Change Pipe Diameter. I can then add an optional description. For this example, I'll type use a 12 inch HDPE pipe in this area. Let's drag this down. I can then assign this issue to a member of the project team. I'm going to select Jerry Bartles. I can add an optional location. We'll leave this one open for now. I can then select a due date. When does this task need to be completed? I'm going to give Jerry until Friday and then I'll click Create to complete the issue. BIM 360 Docs then reports that the issue has been created. Just for a second, let's close the issue pane and we'll talk a little bit about the push pin. If you select a pin, it will open the issue in the Issues pane. I'm going to click this arrow to close the issue, and then we'll pan the drawing over. If you select the issue in the pane, it will take you to that push pin on the sheet. Let's click the X to close this pane. One more thing, you can hide or display push pins using this toggle in the toolbar. Let's close this sheet, and we'll select another. I'm going to select the Soil Erosion and Sediment Control Details plan. After reviewing this sheet, I've decided we need to add a detail, so I'm going to create another issue. To do that, I'll go back to the Issues pane, and I'll click Create Issue. I will then click to place the push pin, and I'll call this issue add detail. For the description, I'll type add a straw bale sediment trap detail here. Let's assign this issue to Jerry, and same as before, I'll select this Friday as the due date. When finished, I'll click create. Now each time I create an issue like this in BIM 360 Docs, the person I've assigned it to receives an email notification. If you'll indulge me for just a second, I'd like to take a quick field trip so we can view this issue from Jerry's perspective. Here we can see the email Jerry received for the issue I just created. Clicking the blue button will take him right to the Kensington Square project where he can review the issue. Note that the issue also includes a hyperlink that will take him right to the sheet where the issue was created. From here, Jerry can answer the issue by selecting Answered from the menu at the top of the Issues pane. He can then type in a response and click Done. When Jerry answers the issue, it is automatically assigned back to me for my review. In addition, I will also receive an email notification. Now, if you remember, I assigned two issues to Jerry. To see his remaining issues, he can visit the Project Home module. And after making a quick adjustment to the Issues card, he can open, review, and answer any other issues that are assigned to him. Now that we've seen things from Jerry's perspective, let's flip back to my screen. Here, I can see the email I received containing Jerry's response to my issue. Clicking the button, I am taken right to the Kensington Square project where I can review his response. Eventually, when this task is completed, I can change the status of this issue to closed. Or, if additional work is necessary, I can reopen the issue and we can start the process over again. For now, I'm going to close this. Finally, I should mention that we don't have to wait for an email notification to view project issues. At any point when I'm in BIM 360 Docs, I can select the Issues view where I can review a comprehensive list and track the status of every issue associated with the current project. As your projects and designs evolve, they will no doubt require changes. Fortunately, BIM 360 Docs makes it easy to assign those changes to the appropriate members of the project team. 
It will also ensure that no work item goes unfinished by tracking each issue through completion. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.